Hello everyone, Peter Harris with Commercial Property Advisors here today and a while back I did this video called Mobile Home Park Investing for Beginners and many of you loved it so thank you very much but today I want to do a follow-up because many of you and I say many of you are passing up great deals or potentially great deals because of three things and in today's video I want to address those three things. I call them the three no-no's. Okay, so this video is called the three no-no's of mobile home park investing. Let me share with you the first no-no. The first no-no is don't reject mobile home park deals with park-owned homes. Okay, park-owned homes where, uh, uh, where the park, that's the landlord, owns the homes on the park. See, so he's renting out the dirt and the home to the tenant. And many lenders don't like that, and many investors don't like that. In fact, um, some lenders, if there's more than 20% of the homes there are park owned, they will not do the loan. So it's not very favorable. And the reason why is, and I understand, they don't want you to get in a situation where you're taking care of the dirt and these homes which are rapidly dilapidating, right? They're not gonna last uh, 75 years or 100 years like an apartment building. So they will eventually degrade and break down and the lender doesn't want to give you a 30 year loan and have these things fall apart on you. Okay. All right. Now, uh, so the no, no here is to not reject those type of deals that maybe you have. Okay. And instead, I want you to do this. I want you to get in the mindset that it's okay to own the, these park owned homes. Okay. But short term only not long term okay so again you can i want you to pursue these uh, mobile home park deals with plenty of park owned homes however we need to have a strategy to make sure the ownership of these homes by you is short term and not long term okay how we're going to do that is we're going to sell outright uh, these homes to the tenant okay number two we're going to sell to the tenant these park on homes with a mortgage note, you become the lender, you become the bank where you can, you can arrange with the tenant for them to start paying you a monthly mortgage payment, a note payment, and, and then they take over those homes and all the responsibilities with those homes. So basically you're getting the mortgage note and the lot rent, the dirt rent, okay? That's, that's ideal, it's better than owning it yourself. Number three is, to sell to the tenant and the tenant gets a loan for uh, or from the bank. Now you're thinking, Peter, how can these uh, mobile home park tenants afford a mortgage? They can, right? It is, and it's easier than you think because there are, there are many uh, nationwide mobile home park lenders that your tenants, okay, with their low income, right, in these mobile home park uh, communities, they, they can actually go to a lender and get a loan and pay you off. Uh, two big lenders here. This, this is just two uh, huge ones in, in the U.S. here. The first one is called 21st Century, and the second one is called Manufactured Nationwide. Okay? Two lenders that your tenants can go to and get a loan and pay you off. Okay? Now, uh, these loans are 85% LTV, meaning they have to come up with 50% down or 96.5% LTV, where they only have to come up with 3.5% down payment, or there's a 100% LTV program too, where it's 100% finance, no down payment, okay? So there's no excuse for you now to, uh, to reject these mobile home park deals with uh, park-owned homes now. And the result would be, if you can purchase this uh, mobile home park, and where there's quite a few mobile uh, park on homes, you can execute one of these three here and get the, get that ownership off of you where you're only leasing out the dirt. And that's what you want. Okay. All right. So now that's the no, no. And hopefully you can see how to deal with this now. All right. So let's go on to no, no. Number two. Here we are. No, no. Number two. It says don't pass up on mobile home park deals with lots of vacancies. You see, to the average investor, uh, a lot of vacancies can really scare, scare you away. You will really shy away from the deal if you have uh, very low occupancy. 
So let's say you find a 200 pad uh, mobile home park, right? In a decent area, except a third of the pads are empty. So lots of vacancies, that can be scary. What I'm saying here is don't pass them up as you have been, okay? Don't pass them up. Instead, what I want you to do is do this. I want you to think this. This is more of a mindset thing than anything else, okay? There's a quote from uh, Machiavelli. He says, make no small plans for they have no power to stir the heart. What does that mean? That means that when you have a big issue in front of you that you could potentially solve in the business of commercial real estate, you can do really, really well. You can make a lot of money. And you can affect and impact a lot of lives if you can solve it, all right? So small plans don't excite, don't excite me or maybe even you, but big plans with big solutions, this is when you should get excited, all right? So now, um, here's, the, here's the solution. When you have uh, a lot of vacancies in your mobile home park, right, before you get, before you shy away, here's the solution. You fill the vacancies yourself, right? That's right, with yourself. Don't rely or don't wait on the tenant to come by with his own home and to park it on your park. It's not going to happen, right? You have to go out and put the homes on the lot yourself and then uh, have them purchase it from you, okay? And, and then now you have your, you have that lot filled, you're getting a lot rent, and your tenant is inside there that, as, in a home that he financed. So you're just renting out the lot, okay? Now, how you, how do you do that? What you can do is you can partner with a mobile home manufacturer. These are the two big ones today, right? Titan is huge. Clayton Homes, this is the one that Warren Buffett, uh, uh, owns, right? So you can partner with them. This is exactly what one of our coaches in our company does today, right? So he uh, he gets a line of credit from these two companies, okay? This is on a huge mobile home park, okay? And then he orders the homes, okay, follow me. He gets, the homes get shipped directly and planted right on the lot, okay, on his mobile home park. And, um, and lastly, he doesn't have to pay a dollar, okay, from, uh, from this manufacturer until he sells it, until he sells it to the tenant, right? So what better deal is that? Okay, look, follow me on this. He, uh, he, goes to the, he goes to Titan or Clayton, he orders a home, okay? They ship it directly to him, they plot it on his land, he goes out and he finds a buyer for that home, they move in, right? And then once they move in, they get financing to pay off what you ordered from these companies, right? Boom, great solution, that's what's possible. Now, I wanna bring up this note here. In, in this business of commercial estate, a lot of it is mindset, it, it, it's a lot. Some of you will, 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 will pass on this type of deal because of your mindset. So I do have a video and it's called, Do You Have the Right Mindset to Own Commercial Real Estate? That link will pop up. I want you to watch that video so that it will put you in the right mindset to be successful in this business. Okay, all right, so that was no no number two. Let's go to no no number three. Last but not least, no no number three, all right? No no number three is not having an extra strategy, extra strategy lined up already, right? An extra strategy is a clear and concise strategy to get your money out of the deals situation. What is the situation? Well, I'm gonna share with you a very common mobile home park deal investment situation, okay? It's right here. Let's say you find a park that you really, really like, right? And then, but the mobile home parks uh, are not up to bank standards. Maybe there's something physically wrong with the property, or perhaps there's too many park-owned homes, and the banks say no. Or let's say that the mobile home park's numbers the income and expenses don't support the loan you're asking for, and then, so there's financial issues with the property, and the bank says no. Or let's say number three, that the, that the owner has legal problems involving the part of unpaid liens, and the lender says, take care of those issues first, right? And then I'll give it a loan. So, uh, and you still like the part. So what do you do? How do you still take down and purchase this part? Well, the solution is to do uh, seller financing. Right, and in our company, Commercial Property Advisors, we're really good at seller finance deals. It's one of our favorite techniques 
of purchasing properties like this in this situation. So let's say we do seller financing, uh, you know, seller carry first or master lease, both of which we have lots of videos on. Let's say we do a five year deal with the seller. We take over the park, right? And again, we like seller financing mainly because of three things. There's no banks involved, right? Uh, your credit really doesn't come into play. And number three, you have five years to address this situation, right? Now, uh, the, the strategy is to take care of these situations so that you can put yourself into a long-term loan, right? Hence, your extra strategy. So your extra strategy is to fix these things and get into a loan, a long-term loan. And here we are. So Fannie Mae and uh, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac have specific mobile home park loan programs that allow you to, to purchase a property like this through seller financing and then to refinance it into their long-term 30-year loan, right? We love these loans because they are they can be up to 80% LTV, meaning that 20% down. Uh, you need probably a 660 or higher credit score, so you don't need perfect credit. Uh, you can do a cash out refi, right? Or, um, and also there's no tax returns involved. On the, so in this particular situation, uh, the extra strategy would be to purchase a property like this, uh, fix it up to bank standards, make it worth more, right? By increasing the rents, increasing the NOI, having it worth more, and then, uh, at, and then upon execution of his loan to do a cash out refi and pull out your down payment and your renovation costs. All right. So now you are armed with a way of taking, taking down parks like this, right? And the no, no is if you do a park like this, which is very common, uh, the no, no is not having your extra strategy already lined up. Got it. Okay. All right. So if you like this video, please press the like button. Now you are armed with three ways of not passing on great deals or potentially great deals with your mobile home park investments. All right. Okay. If you like this video, go ahead and, like I said, click the like button or please uh, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you at the next video.